the faces of domestic violence. Another unbelievable case. Please subscribe. God bless the family. After her ex-boyfriend shot her eight times, she spoke at a sentencing hearing in Clay County last week, but he never heard what she had to say because he stormed out of the courtroom while someone else was sharing their victim impact statement. Fox 4 Shannon Russo live tonight in Kansas City with what she wanted to tell him. Well, Tyra Randall had a lot to say to 45-year-old Lonel James, who hurt her so badly in that shooting that she is now a paraplegic. First, she wanted to apologize to her family for having gone through this whole ordeal with her. And she also wanted to address James directly to let him know that his words about her throughout this trial and sentencing will not diminish her character. The eyes of a survivor hold horrific truths. I think he did mean to kill me, but God had another plan. And 32-year-old Tyra Randall seen things most of us can't imagine. One of them had the audacity saying um, if he wanted to kill her, he would have killed her. She's talking about one of Lonell James's friends who publicly defended him at his sentencing in Clay County last week. Tyra's father shared with the court how the shooting impacted him. When he told James that he had no remorse for shooting his daughter, James stormed out of the room. That kind of eats me up a little bit because I've been waiting all these years to say what I wanted to say to him or what I needed to say, and he left. We asked Tyra what would she want to tell James in case he happens to see this report. She confidently looked into our lens and said this. You failed at a relationship. You failed at basically being a father and you failed at killing me. So now you would succeed in jail for the rest of your life. And I hope my plan is that you take your last breath in jail and that you would never see the light of day and you would never ever get out and do this to another woman. Happy knowing James can't hurt her or her two kids. She's thriving. Tyra recently won Miss Wheelchair Missouri 2024 and will compete for Miss Wheelchair USA later this year. She also just returned from D.C. where she was a guest speaker at the Christopher Reeves Foundation. With so many things going her way, there's still one thing she's working on. My independence a little bit. Um, my dad drives me around a lot. I'm trying to raise money for um, an accessible vehicle. And that accessible vehicle would let her take her kids to school and also their after school activities. So she's raising money for that right now. There's a GoFundMe if you'd like to help her reach that goal. We've attached a link to that inside this story at fox4kc.com. And Lauren, I did want to mention that we did contact James's public defender today for comment, letting them know we were speaking with Tyra, but we never got a call back. Shannon. Wow, Tyra, you're such an inspiration. Thank you. What a great. Stop domestic violence. Stop gun violence. It's not right. A crucial reminder here. Help is available. If you or anyone you know is a victim of domestic violence, you can call the phone number there on your screen or simply text the word START to 88788. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.